The global battery industry, driven by the electric vehicle revolution, is pouring billions into recycling capabilities amid raw material shortages. But as they seek greener supply chains, the industry grapples with uncertainties in battery chemistry, regulations, and ownership of end-of-life batteries. This exploration delves into these challenges, revealing the dynamic landscape of battery recycling. Companies across the battery supply chain, spanning from East Asia to Europe and North America, are pouring substantial investments into recycling capabilities. This strategic move is driven by the anticipation of raw material shortages critical for powering the next generation of electric vehicles. However, despite the collaborative efforts of automakers, battery producers, and mining companies to establish recycling capacities and enhance supply chain resilience, the fledgling battery recycling industry grapples with unresolved fundamental challenges. Andreas Breiter, who oversees McKinsey's Center for Future Mobility in North America, points out that the current focus revolves around setting up the necessary battery factories. However, the looming question, a decade or so down the line, is what to do with the accumulating used batteries. The prevailing uncertainty extends to which battery chemistry will dominate the global race involving Chinese giants like Cattle and Bide, and their Korean and Japanese competitors. This ambiguity complicates the determination of required recycling processes. Moreover, doubts persist regarding future regulations, materials pricing, recycling technologies, and even ownership of end-of-life EV batteries. All of these factors will significantly influence industry development and the viability of specific business models. Simon Lynch, CEO of battery materials producer and recycler Lithium Australia, observes a sense of disorder in the industry due to its unprecedented nature. He predicts that new, currently unheralded players will emerge as major contenders in the market in the next 5 to 10 years. Battery recycling, involving smelting, chemical treatment, or both, carries its own environmental impact. Recyclers face the challenge of demonstrating that their processes remain more environmentally friendly and economically attractive compared to mine materials, especially considering advancements in cleaner extraction techniques. Currently, the primary sources of feedstock for recyclers are cells from consumer products like laptops and scrap from battery plants. However, the projection is that production scrap will constitute 53% of recyclers' feedstock in 2025 but decreased to 43% by 2030, 14% by 2035, and just 6% by 2040, as the global electric vehicle fleet is expected to surge to 350 million vehicles by the end of the decade, according to the International Energy Agency. The evolving landscape poses a dilemma for recyclers, as the logistics and business models for recycling scrap and end-of-life batteries differ significantly. For production scrap, Establishing facilities near battery plants makes sense for a seamless material circulation back into the production process. In North America, this approach has led to partnerships between battery manufacturers and recyclers. For end-of-life batteries, a different approach is needed, involving collection, safety assessment, disassembly, and recycling. However, securing stable supplies is a challenge, given the various stakeholders, including cell makers, car manufacturers, and consumers, potentially claiming battery ownership. One potential model is for the battery manufacturer, car maker, or a third party to own the battery throughout its life cycle, leasing it to various users, and then recycling or reusing it when it can no longer power a vehicle. In China, where the electric vehicle, battery, and recycling markets are more mature than in the West, Companies like Cattle have established closed-loop partnerships to recycle end-of-life batteries in collaboration with local recyclers and automakers. However, there are doubts about the long-term viability of the closed-loop system due to logistical complexities. Furthermore, a battery no longer suitable for vehicle use can still find applications in other areas, such as lighting, appliances, or energy storage. The recycling market is less structured compared to other parts of the battery supply chain, and this could lead to the bifurcation of supply chains for scrap and end-of-life batteries. 
Additionally, the industry's evolution will be influenced by technological advancements and political dynamics in Europe and the US, where efforts are underway to reduce reliance on China and establish domestic supply chains. The EU has enacted regulations to create a circular economy for batteries, mandating minimum recycled content for specific materials. Concerns about materials leaking from Europe to China may lead to further regulatory measures. The choice between lithium iron phosphate LFP, batteries, dominant in China, and nickel manganese cobalt NMC, batteries, favored by Korean and Japanese manufacturers, will also impact the recycling industry. LFP batteries have a lower value due to the abundance of iron phosphate, which may affect the margins of LFP recyclers in the Western market. Finally, the industry is susceptible to disruption from emerging proprietary techniques developed by smaller recycling companies, potentially reshaping the recycling landscape. Given these uncertainties, the commercial viability of the recycling model hinges on future technological developments, evolving regulations, and the dynamics of the materials market.